Last week in Japan, there were too many old people, Boy Scouts got sick in the head, and robots can see when you're drunk. All this news brought to you seven days late. Hello and welcome to Nanoka Okure, the very best of Japanese news that's no longer relevant. In 1963, the Japanese government enacted a program to honor its senior citizens. Good job, Japanese government. Kudos. Those who reached 100 years old were gifted with a silver sakazuki, a traditional type of sake cup dish. It's not quite a cup, it's not quite a dish, and it holds sake. That's what it is. Let's just look at the picture. The government has dutifully given these expensive gifts to centenarians for over 50 years. If you don't know what a centenarian is, just figure it out from context. But last week, The Guardian reported that the gift may be changed or removed altogether because it's just too darned expensive. In 1963, when the program began, there were only 153 centenarians. In 1998, only 10,000. Today, there are 59,000. 100-year-old people living in Japan. That's a lot of silver sake saucers. Too many for a country with a bad economy. So the government is toying with the idea to make the sakazuki out of cheaper material to save on silver, or to just send them a commemorative letter from the prime minister. I think the idea of changing what the prize is is gonna make a lot of people mad. Instead of changing the gift, just make them reach 200 to get it. Worst case scenario, Japan's aging workforce will stick around a little longer and try to get that sake dish. Hang in there, old people! The motto of scout organizations around the world is be prepared. But some unfortunate scouts were not prepared last week for an outbreak of meningitis. Over 32,000 Cub Scouts, Boy Scouts, and Girl Scouts from around the world gathered in Yamaguchi Prefecture for the 23rd World Scout Jamboree! A week and a half of camping and hanging out together with scouts of all nationalities. It's just, it's just fun to say jamboree. Jamboree! But international health officials are issuing warnings after some scouts developed meningitis upon their return home. Three scouts from Scotland and at least one from Sweden have fallen ill from the disease, which is an inflammation of the membranes protecting the brain and spinal cord. Gross. While meningitis can prove fatal, all infected scouts are recovering well after being treated with antibiotics. Thanks, science! Scottish health officials said the chance of further infection is low, but everyone should still be aware of the symptoms which include stiff necks, headaches, vomiting, and seizures. Ugh, that escalated quickly. I think it's time that the World Organization of the Scout Movement figure out a way to separate the boys from the men in Jidus. Don't you just hate how drunk people endanger themselves and others at train stations? Well, West Japan Railway does too. They're in touch with today's drunk-hating youth. A 2013 study found that two-fifths of all people hit by trains in Japan were drunk. To counteract this trend, the Osaka Loop Line installed special cameras last week. These cameras don't identify individuals. Instead, they are able to recognize drunken behavior and alert train station staff as to where it's happening. Actions the cameras can recognize include staggering around, passing out on benches, and loitering on the platforms for too long. Because everyone knows how much drunk people love to loiter. We here at Tofugu think the next firmware update for the cameras should include voice recognition of phrases such as, This guy right here, am I right? Oh, this song, this is my song. I don't get you, but I respect you. And? Okay, everybody, shut up for a minute. This is important. That's all the time we have for this week. If you've ever been drunk at a train station or are drunk right now, leave a comment and prove that you're drunk with your words. Tune in next week when we bring you more stale news.